So they want to know for what values of k is this thing supposed to equal a negative 2. And so we're just going to go ahead and crank this out. I can factor the top, sine x times 1 plus cosine squared x over sine x cosine x. And max we want to equal a negative 2. Um, then one of these sine x's will cancel. So then I just have the limit as x goes to k of that. Now if I plug in the k, because it's safe for a continuous function, so long as a k doesn't make the bottom 0, I can plug in the k, cosine squared k over cosine k equaling a negative 2. Now if I want this to work, there's no way that k could make the bottom 0, so it is okay to do this. And now we just have this lovely equation which we can solve. So I can do uh, 1 plus cosine squared k equals negative 2 cosine k. Just multiplying both sides by that. Uh, if ever I have power bigger than 1, my goal is to set the thing equal to 0. So toss him on the other side, and it's a quadratic. So I'm going to factor this. Cosine k and cosine k will make that cosine squared. A 1 and a 1 will make the 1. Put in some positives. Heck yeah, that's factoring like that. So this means that the cosine of k should be a negative 1 if that thing wants to be a 0. And what values of k, what angles give me a cosine of negative 1? Well, that's where the x is negative 1 in the unit circle, so that is a negative Oh, not a negative pi, just a regular old pi. And we look at our answers, and yes, we are seeing it there, that's C. And that is all.